G'day guys, today's video I'm going to show you how I paint the V-Strop. As you can see it is white, I'm going to paint it blue. This is the colour I'm going to do it. I always wanted either a blue or a red V-Strom and I could not find one for the right price. I know it seems a shame to wreck such a good friggin panels on this bike but I'm going to paint it this Mitsubishi colour, it's called Electro. I'm going to be using, I've got these rattle cans on special. And then I'm going to be using acrylic clear coat over the top out of the spray gun. First thing I've got to do is pull it apart. Now I did try to take this front panel off. I took this bolt out. As soon as that clip popped, it cracked. So I thought, bugger it, I'm gonna just do this one actually on the bike. I'll just mask it all off. I'll get this windscreen out of the way. But I know this one is easy to get off. And this one, not so easy because I've got to pull, pull the back rack off and the panniers, take the seat off. This all comes off in one piece, I think. I shall find out soon enough. Next job, work out how these come off. Oh crap. In Right. Just pulls forward. A little screw in there, I can take that bit of bit off. Okay, so now that part is now released. There's a little rubber grommet there. Take that out. So as you can see, there's a daddy long leg in there. These are actually painted from the factory, so I shouldn't have too much trouble painting these. All I have to do is give it a good scuff up. I'll probably give it a color coat of primer. Bit of color and then clear. All right, let's do the other side. They do have a bit of jaw lock on the back of these, I'm pretty sure. That's right, I almost forgot. You gotta pull them backwards to get those little hooks. Bit of jaw lock on them there. Even though I'm gonna leave this on, I will take take out the nuts for it. The LMP bolts. Right, she's looking a bit naked now. I'm still wondering if I can actually get that off. 
Why do we got to pull this one off? Alright, so I changed my mind. I'm going to have a go at taking this off. Now there's a little pin there. Same on the other side. You've got a bolt there, bolt there, bolt there, bolt there. Two up here. Two little pins. Now, it's still pretty tight. I'm not sure how this is meant to come off. We have movement. Looks like something's still holding it in. Right. Just the wires holding it now. This is probably a plug. Alright, so that just got a little plug on the back of that and unclips. I can see in there that white panel. I don't know if my hands in the way, but there seems to be a screw there, screw on the other side, and a couple of little little clips and they're holding that front piece on yeah once you get that dash out that really exposes all the uh, framework just wondering i don't really know what i'm doing here but bear with me okay i'm gonna see what happens do these screws here they look like they're holding the headlight and the uh, what I have no idea if it's necessary to actually take that out. I better just take it easy doing this. So what I'm doing, I'm just pushing on these little white tabs Let's see if I can get any movement out of it Ooh, that one's on mute. It still feels like there is something holding it on Got a bit of movement now See, I have got got a bit of a gap around it. Now, I know people said something about that white middle piece. It's very easy to break. All right, success. It actually looks like we're cracked, but that has been repaired before. Because when I tried to take it off, it just snapped. So that is what's at the bottom. Have a good look at that if you ever want to do this. And that is what it looks like at the front. Alright, so that is the panel. It's got a nice little bit of pearl to that. I want to take these Suzuki badges off. So what I'm going to do is just heat it up a little bit with the heat gun. Got to be careful of these. It's a bloody burn. Well, it very rubbery um, I should really take a photo of that 
so I know where to reposition it later on. I'll do that, buddy. Voila! When I put them back on, I'll just put a little bit of bloody glue or some kind on there. Should be good. There you go, do. Get a bit of prep sole. That'll take that off. So wax and grease remover will remove glue. No problem at all. That's all you gotta do. Give me a tip, never try sand it off because you'll end up with lows around it and the bloody glue will still be there. Okay, so I've got a bucket of water. I'll put a bit of dishwashing liquid in it. And I'm gonna be using 600 wet rub. Right, so you want to rub it, rub it enough so it's got uh, the shine is taken off it. Right, I'll get all these uh, rubbed down and then I'll come back to you. Right, so everything's wet rubbed down. I've cleaned it with a bit of pre wipe, wax and grease remover. I'm going to now just give it a couple of light coats of acrylic primer filler, and then I'll uh, let that dry and then I'll paint it. that place off for a little bit and then uh, I'll give it another light coat and it'll be uh, ready to sand back. Alright so I've let these sit for a while, find that it's nice and dry. I'm just going back over on a bit of 600, give my rub, don't even need a little light rub. I don't really need a block or anything. So I've, only, I've put two coats of primer on there, so I don't really want to rub too much. So I'll cut through it. So I'll go over these, dry them all off, get them ready to paint. All right, so after you uh, go over and give a wax and grease remover, I'm going to give everything a good blow down. Alright, so it should be now ready to paint. All right, so I've got three coats. It's looking pretty good. Actually matches the cap. I'll just let that dry off now and I'll just dust a little bit more on. And then um, let that dry for a while before I clear coat it. All right, so I've let that paint dry for a good hour or two. I'm gonna now put clear on with the gun. I'm gonna wear my mask this time.
Right, so I've just put it. This is two coats of clear. This is actually acrylic clear. It's actually um, giving a pretty good gloss off the gun. I will probably still wet rather than polish it up. I reckon one or two more coats should be plenty. I am working in a small place, no ventilation, no fan. Right, so I've just finished putting on the last coat. I'm only going to put four coats on this because it's actually come out pretty flat anyway, so I won't need much of a polish. I'll leave that overnight and uh, tomorrow I'll put it back together. And I shall continue the video. So I just want to give you another look, guys. If you ever plan on taking one of these off, there is a big, big one at the bottom. You've got a, I actually got the screwdriver underneath from the side and pushed that up and it popped out. But there is other little all these little clips around it and um, there's two screws from the back four screws actually so I'm gonna see if I can't get this back on we bloody wrecking anything I think I better wait till tomorrow let this dry out a bit better before I start pushing on it Just put that front panel on. I haven't polished it on nothing yet. But while it's out in the light, I just want to show you how to get that off. Um, now there's a screw there, one there, one there, and one there, and there is several little clips. You just got to push out the screwdriver. There's one there. You got little little clips like that, and um. This one here, what I done, I pulled the front out a little bit and then I got a screwdriver underneath and just pushed up the little clip and it popped out. So yeah, so that's one part put back on. While I was at it, I ended up clear coating my tank, give it a nice shine. I painted the handlebars, couldn't help myself. So yeah, I'll slowly put it back together now. Alright, so that piece can go back on. Plug the dash back in. So the two bolts I took out of up here, they actually hold the dash on. You don't really need to take them out after all. I'm a little bit confused now which bolts came out of where. Anyway, I'll come back to the dash. What I'm going to do now... I think I'll put a uh, one of the salt side pieces on. Doesn't look half bad, boy.
All right, so you got to clip that little bit back together. And then we have a screw. Screw in there. A little pin in the top there. You gotta remember those little bits there slide backwards. I don't know if they could make these any more awkward than they are. So they're those little clips, when you take them out, you actually push them right in. When you put them back, just take the pin out. Slip that in. All right, put the other side on, I'll come back to you. All right, so the bike has now had overnight to dry. So it should be pretty hard. What I'm gonna do now is just give it a wet rub with 1000 and um, hit it with the polisher. Right, so they rub down pretty easy. Well, um, I don't think I'll even rub them bits. I might just do these side panels over here. Alright, I'll rub the other side and then I'll get the buff out. Also, I just masked off the plastics. Because um, when you get this buffing compound on your plastics and they kind of stains it a little bit, it's hard to get off. Alright. Let's see how we go. Right, because I painted this, we're going to buff that up as well. Shit goes everywhere. I'll just have to give this a really good wash. Wash down later. All right, I'll buff a bit more and I'll come back to you. All right, so I've just finished buffing it all up. It's got a bit of shit all over it, so I'm gonna now take it in, give it a good pressure wash down and give it a scrub. Get the covers out of everywhere. Now, if you're using two pack, you can avoid doing this pretty much. But doing it at home in the shed, I just thought doing acrylic is cheap and easy and uh, a bit safer for the health you have another proper spray boot the old two packs are a bit poisonous for these days so I'll get her out and give her a wash A bit of a gentle pressure wash, get the cutters out of all the cracks and around the bolts. Alright, so that is all back together now. Um, still cleaned up. One thing I did forget, I forgot to put the bloody pannier racks on, I had it all together and then realised. But doesn't matter, because camping's off this year anyway because of the virus, so we can't go nowhere. Looks a bit cleaner without them actually. So yeah. If you like my little paint job, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe. Any comments? I really appreciate comments. Get a bit of feedback on what you like and what you don't like. Alright, so next project over there. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah.
Yeah.